Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with Mandy and Evelyn and there's a few other people running around who also are members of our awesome pixel biology community. So we just said hello to them and now it is time to get a move on. Oh my gosh, Melody is so much faster now that we are wearing our banana shirt that we got from the horse market quest, which was quite the surprise. But we are going to get a move on so that we can start going around and completing some more of the Silver Glade quest. The Silver Lake quest feel like the next natural step so that we can start figuring out the world of Jorvik and we'll get ready or I should say um, Is Jorvik the whole country? I know it's Jorvik stables and it's Yarlahim! There we go! I knew I'd get there eventually. But we're figuring out the world of Yarlahim. This looks amazing to walk up over here. I want to explore the hollow woods. But I do think we need to complete a few more of the quests around here and down at Moreland before we can really start exploring all over the place. So let's go ahead and get started. After all, we are still just level 6 little characters. We need to treat ourselves like the appropriate newbies we are. And let's see what Harold hey. wants over here. Die. Once a month, we deliver a jar of cookies to the castle. Oh, we could visit the castle today. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. <laughs> These are cardamom cookies, greatly appreciated by the Baroness. Will you take them there, please? Ride there on that beautiful horse of yours, and it will take you no time at all. Of course. Let's go ahead and take some, uh, some cookies to the castle, I suppose. There's that adorable tiny baby kitten again. I really love it. It's just so cute. There's Felix, the man who enjoys flowers. Highly approve of that. And then I think Donald the Tailor. Are you like, are you like the brother of the guy we were just talking to? <laughs> Saga, how are you? Now that you're here, perhaps you could do me a favor. After this harsh winter, I need to make a lot of warm jackets for people. You see, I'm out of wool at the moment, and as a tailor, I depend on wool to make fabrics and thread to make clothes with. You should be able to get more wool from the shepherd, Landon. Please run this errand for me, will you? Um, okay. I mean, I guess if you're surrounded by people on horses, it makes sense to just ask them for help instead of being like, oh boy. I guess I'm just gonna have to walk myself over there. All right, Melanie, let's just take it nice and easy today. Today is the day. Okay, I, I think I should probably put my dress back on. <laughs> to, um, I wonder if she'll notice if I eat one of the cookies. Um, well, we're gonna have to see. Oh, wow, the castle is really guarded. I wasn't really expecting that. Like it has, does it have a drawbridge and everything? Or can I just go straight in? Oh, that's really ugly that the billboard is just to the left of the castle. I mean, look at this. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Look at this. Well, not not a Melody Warriors rump, but look at how nice this is. Huh. Huh. Well, all right. Let's get going. Hopefully, hopefully we won't get in trouble. This place is locked up tight. Chinchilla champions. That's amazing. What? There's, there's like a race you can do here? Castle door, huh? All right. Um... Nobody is answering the door. There's nothing to do but head back to the shop. Unless you want to taste one of those cardamom cookies. They smell rather divine. Maybe I do? As nobody is answering the door, it seems like the best thing to do is head back to the shop. Um... Can I... Can I... Can I actually... Mm, nope. <laughs> I was gonna do it too. Hey, if they're good enough for the Baroness, then why can't I try one? That sounds delicious. Alright, so this is the Baroness's Boulevard. Man, Melanie Warrior really has picked up speed since we leveled her up. We might do another race or two sometime today because that is super helpful. And I forgot how you could go on like several races. You could basically race to your heart's content to help her level up too. All right, there's Mandy. That's so fun. Look at her trotting around. Very cute. All right. It felt like it was appropriate to put our dress back on to visit the Baroness too. All right, I'm going to go ahead and gently trot down over here and let him know that nobody's answering. All right, Harold, can I have your cookies? Can I eat them now? Mm -hmm. The castle was closed. Nobody answered the door. You know, lately there's been some rumors circling around that place. Someone said they heard what sounded like a young girl crying from inside the building. Frankly, I don't know what to think. The Baroness has seemed anxious lately. Oh, does she have a ghost? Or does she have like a, a small child? Is the Baroness really like, that would be a twist if the Baroness was really like an evil stepmother or something like that from the stories. Like a, a witch who stole away Rapunzel. Oh, that would be quite the twist. All right, Harold, what do you want me to do now, my friend? If I have heard the crying, I can't say I have. Actually, it sounds like a ghost story to me. But hey, you can always ask the Baroness yourself when you see her. The Baroness is the owner of Silverglade Manor and Vineyards. Oh, is she the one I saw then? Well, geez, she lives a far way away from her little castle. 
Um, her family, the Silverglades, run way back in history. They have been the most influential family in Yorvik since, I don't know for how long, maybe hundreds of years. Here are some wine bottle samples that the Baroness has requested. See if you can deliver them to the butler. He should be at the winery. Ride carefully. The bottles are fragile. Oh, goodness. Okay. Ride carefully so we don't break them. Does that mean we really could break them? I don't want to find out. So let's just let's just gently trot, maybe. Hey Lance, I like how he's always posing with that kitten. Oh, we've got more mail. We'll have to do another pony post sometime soon. Oh, and a friendship invitation. Hello! Bridget King Kingside, I believe. Alright, so we'll accept that. Let's keep moving. Can I ride a little a little faster? I don't want to like break the wine bottles, but really if you're gonna give the wine bottles to a person on horseback. You should anticipate a little jostling. I think they package wine bottles and like really fancy breakable things like that. Sometimes surrounded by um, like hay or other things like that. Straw, like really tightly packed inside of um, wooden boxes. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. Oh my gosh, that main animation. I might want to start with one of the newer horses because you guys have been saying, oh Siri, the animation on the newer horses is gorgeous. So I will admit, okay, it seems like we can ride as fast as we want, I hope. <laughs> so I will admit that definitely tempts me. And this is so beautiful. I love seeing all the green everywhere, the little vineyard. So we're on Wine Road. So basically she's a woman who inherited a big legacy, big responsibility, and probably a lot of money. Um, that's into her vineyard. She probably doesn't appreciate a whole bunch of uh, people riding their horses onto her grape vines there. All right, let's get up here. Wow, takes a minute to get up here, that's for sure. I wonder if she sells horses here. Pretty much everybody sells horses. All right, there is a butler. All right, we'll slow down a little bit. Wow, that's a gorgeous horse too. Mm -hmm. Godfrey the butler. Miss? Oh, the bottle samples. Very good, thank you. What? The winter has been hard indeed for the manor as well. How the baroness is? You've heard she's very busy. I see. Well, one could say that. She's had a lot on her mind lately with the GED exploiting the land and all. She's building a new racetrack as well, which takes a lot of her time and effort. But I'll see that she gets these. Certainly, miss. Goodbye. All right. And then, pardon? A stable? Why, of course we have a stable here. The Silverglade Equestrian Center. The noblest stable in Jorvik, miss. You come from Borland? Well, you should indeed pay a visit to the Equestrian Center. It houses some of the best performing horses on the island. Why don't you speak to Linda? Hold on, what am I saying? Not Linda. <laughs> Not Linda, miss. There are several other stable girls over there, however. I think one of them is called Judy. Judy will be able to help you. Ooh. I see. The butler has just let slip a tasty morsel of gossip. I want to figure out where Linda has disappeared to in a little bit. That could make things very interesting. Oh my gosh! Sabine! You need to eat some of these cookies I have! Oh my goodness, she's so tiny! <laughs> eat some of these cookies, woman! Oh my goodness! All right, well, let's go ahead and come over here. Ah, uh, green hair would be so cool, except I really like my brown hair, too. Okay, Judy. Um, the very noble staple. <laughs> Hi, Saga. Of course I know who you are. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Judy, by the way. I spoke to Thomas Moreland earlier, and he told me that you and Melanie Warrior are really great together, like you truly bonded. That makes me happy, since Melanie Warrior is the horse I used to ride when I first started out as a stable girl at Moreland Stables. Oh, my gosh. Judy! <laughs> I am um, I'm doing my best. I still have a lot to learn, Judy, so bear with me. He has a wonderful horse. No 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 Melanie Warrior's gonna be a girl, okay? And deserves a rider that understands her. Anyway, we're short on people here since Linda went away. Thomas said that if anything happened uh that if you happen to come by, I could ask you if you're willing to help out a bit here. Alrighty! Uh, help the equestrian center. Have you met the Baroness yet? No, it doesn't surprise me. She's been acting almost hysterical lately. When you actually see her, that is, it seems like she's spending more and more time inside the castle, doing who knows what. Will you please help out in the stable until Thomas needs you again? Sure. I am, Thomas may need me, but I kind of just rode away and wanted to learn how to jump and explore the countryside. So let's see what we can do here. Thank goodness you said yes. Okay, so what I need you to do is give the horses hay and water, groom them, and muck out the boxes. You can do this whenever you feel there's need. You'll definitely, you'll find detailed information on the notice board in the yard. I will be around if you need anything, but I doubt you'll have any problems. You look like a smart girl. All right, thank you so much. Um, well, I guess we'll go ahead. Uh, Melanie Warrior, do you want to just sit over here? You can, you can bond with Judy. You can kind of spend a little bit of time with her. 
Oh, look at you, Thistledown, who's the cutest bunny in the world you are. Oh, wow, we're unlocking all sorts of things. Hello, Carrie. How are you, sir? Um, grape sprout? Mm. And you know what? Could you give me a sprout from uh, one of the grapevines as well? We'll perform tests on that, too. Use these garden shears. I did send the girl Sonia for sprout samples, but she couldn't find any. Um, okay. Uh, I think he thinks we're just, like, one of the random stable hand people. And he's just like, sure, take this. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's see. Where to first? Well, um, where's the notice board sign for this place? What, I want to follow where the orange is actually taking me. Because I think... Oh, hello. Tyra. Oh, am I coming back here? Is this where I'm coming? Am I going to be allowed to, like... Oh, that's a beautiful horse, too. Oh, my gosh. I can't make up my mind. I actually really, 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 really like that one. I'm going to have to look him up now. I'm going to have to take all of your guys' advice. I'm going to have to look him up. Oh, look at the grapes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Um, I don't think this is a good thing. I'm pretty sure somebody needs to be notified here. But how do I take a, like, a sample or how do I collect a grape sample? Hello? Anybody? Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find my quest. Grape sprout. Cut off a sprout from the grape vines and return to carry. Um, okay. So let's do our best. Let's see. Where's my little shears? He said he gave me a pair of garden shears. Uh, garden tool. Hmm. I'm sure there's like a specific grape sprout I'm supposed to go over to. I think I'm wandering in the right area, maybe? Do I just need to, like, wave it over here? Huh. I may need to be more patient. Darn, I don't see anything sparkling. You really get used to just everything sparkling and making it easier for you. And then when it doesn't sparkle, you're like, hey, wait a second. This isn't helping. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the garden tool. And we'll try to help him out in a little bit. There are so many pretty horses everywhere. Oh, look, the little bed and breakfast. It's kind of amazing to see this beautiful marbled house, and then they've got the little bed and breakfast over here. Ah, there's the notice board. All right, well, let's hop out like I said I would, and then let's go ahead and chit-chat with her a little bit more. So let's go see what the notice board has to say. Whip around, and the vineyard notice board. Vineyard notice board. Watering. Fill the bucket with water. Water the horses feeding okay so it's the same thing as usual and it's good to know you can do that at several different locations oh and there are horses that you can actually get too <gasps> we'll have to look over those soon all right and here's this and where's the well there's the well so let's go ahead do we have enough water i'm gonna go ahead and fill the bucket anyway and hopefully that'll count as our water for the horses We'll take care of them. We're going to help Judy out. We're going to figure out where the heck Linda went to. If she's been locked in the castle. Like, did the Baroness lock her in the castle? <laughs> I'm not really going to put anything by that Baroness. Uh, I know she likes to disco dance. That definitely did take me... What am I trying to do? Putting the water in the food. There we go. But yeah, I know she likes to disco dance. So that was cool. Oh, I am Emily Catluck. You have a gigantic, gorgeous horse. All right. Let's get a little more water in here. A little more food. See, we know how to do basic mucking of stables and cleaning by now. We've got this. All right. And we'll take care of this right here. And finish up a little bit of the food. There we go. And then we'll go speak with her and she can know, hey, we, you can rely on us. Plus, we hopefully down the grapevine make... <laughs> down the grapevine when we're at the vineyard stables. Hopefully, this helps uh, Thomas look good, too, because we're kind of helping him out. All right. All right, Judy. I'm all done with all of the things. Watering is done. A little bit of money. And that's helping us with Silverglade Manor. And let's see, inspect the water pipes. What we actually need help with, though, are the water pipes from the irrigation system in the fields. We just turned the water on, and now the pipes are leaking. They must have broken down during the winter by the cold. Do you think you could try to locate the leaks? Right over there on Melody Warrior, the train is a bit troublesome to walk on for you and me. When you find a leak, turn the knob to stop the water at that spot. All right, so I think that is a good thing. And I think that we also need to come over to Carney here, Ooh. testing the soil. So I heard you were riding around and was hoping if I could ask you for a favor. The thing is, we're doing some tests on the soil around the vineyards and the results should be ready by now. Would you be so kind as to check them for me? Sure, no problem, my friend. 
He's probably a man who, like, everybody would just... Oop, new invitation from Sarah Summerstream. Hello! He probably is a man who everybody would just assume, like, Oh, he's not, he's not got, like, that much going on up there, but he's actually, like, a brilliant soil scientist. That's how it is in an anime I love called Silver Spoon. One of the characters thinks that all of the people in the agricultural, um... Con like the agricultural community he goes to are going to be really like not that smart it turns out they're amazing geneticists because <laughs> you have to know your stuff when you're taking care of these things all right is this it what i need to take care of this is what i need to take care of all right we'll say hello really quickly that's kind of cute um hello there we go we're doing a quest right now but nice to meet you there we go. Your horse is beautiful, too. Your horse is beautiful. All right. Hello. All right. Oh, I love... Oh, horses are so cute. Perfect jumpers nation. Oh, and we've also got Ava Autumnwood. Have a wonderful day. So, yeah. Thank you so much. So, yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, when I run by, that's why. If I just, like, say hello and then dash, it's because there's just so much always going on. But, oh, my gosh, you guys. Is this not the most beautiful place? She's got a view of her castles from here. All right, and then we need to gather up the soil samples. I like this. Spending the whole day. Oh, here's another leaky water pipe. All right, we've got this, Melody Warrior. Melanie Ward is so a girl because I say so. <laughs> but I really like this. Spending the day out in the fields with the water and everything like that. It just, it's really nice if you ask me. Alright, and we're going to do this. There we go. And now we need to go ahead and turn around. And it's just so pretty here. All the little, I mean, hang on Melanie Ward, just a second. I just can't get over it because it's all of the, the little berries, the windmills in the background. Oh, no wonder so many of you guys just love this world because it's so relaxing. All right. Oh, turn, 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 Marilyn Warrior. Good job. Elizabeth Sweetright. Nice to meet you guys. So like I said, if you guys toss me an invite while I'm on, and I do let you guys know on Twitter when I'm going to get on, then I will be more than happy to go ahead and accept. But I have to keep moving when we're doing quests. All right, this is very exciting too. I wonder how far the player levels go up and I wonder what we need to do like oh wow Wow If I was the Baroness, I would hardly ever be up at the castle too because it's just so pretty here. I Would want to be down here Where like the vineyard is I would want to be here. Wow, these pipes are really broken. I would want to be here among the plants it would make me so happy. Oh, oh, easy there, Melody Warrior. I found another one, another broken piece. So we've got to go around the corner. And then I don't know where the soil we're supposed to collect is going to be, but we will find it too. All right, easy there, Slistle Down. Oh, I bet he's like nibbling on the berries that we run by. Can you just imagine that, you guys? I can. Thistle Down just like chewing on the berries as we go through the vineyard. That's the cutest idea. He definitely would be doing that. I bet he likes these areas because it's full of delicious things and it's just nice and green everywhere. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> if I ever did a meetup, it would probably be here in the vineyards. <laughs> there we go. All right. Almost done. So we've examined a whole bunch of the pipes and a ton of them are busted. So that's bad news bears for the people in charge of this beautiful area. All right. And here's the last one here. So we've inspected all the water pipes and turned them off. And then let's go ahead and keep moving. I'm so glad we own Melody Warrior now. Let's go ahead. We're going to keep moving and we're going to go ahead and go on up and see if those soil samples are ready. Wow, this is beautiful. <gasps> There's even a little bridge over here. This is beautiful, you guys. I'm so glad we're here. I really am. It's so pretty. All right, let's come on up. Ah, uh, there we go, Melody Warrior. All right, let's turn around. And are the soil samples up here? They sure are. Now, how the heck do I collect the test things? Do I just, like, pick them up? Apparently, I just pick them up. And you just have to, like, examine 
the soil results. Oh, look at Emily. Emily Catluck with the, her gorgeous, gigantic horse that I kind of am in love with. <laughs> also has uh, this quest, I think. All right, so where's the last, last little piece? Is it over here? Hmm. Let's see. Where is it? So we've examined those two. And do I need to go down one? I might need to go down one. All right, let's try going down a little bit because I think maybe it's down. Oh, wait, 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 what's over here? Aha, it's gonna be back here, I see. Okay, okay, still beautiful. And now the giant trees and the mountains are here. Yeah, I don't blame the Baroness. At first I was like, oh, maybe she's just shirking her duties to like relax and have a great time over at her castle or over at her, her home. But now that I see what she has to take care of, this would be a lot of work to manage. And it's so pretty. I hope I can own just a sliver of this kind of natural beauty when I grow up and become, become old and can finally afford a home. All right, let's go ahead and go let them know that we have taken good care of their vineyard. And then we might have to take a good peek at their horses next time, you guys. Oh, wow, it's pretty back here. Yeah, we might have to take a really good peek at their horses next time. <gasps> Is that the Baroness? I have cookies for you. <laughs> we'll have to let her know I have her cookies. <laughs> how long am I gonna be stuck with her cookies, actually? That's a good question. I don't know how long, like, I, she's gonna want me to carry her cookies around. All right, here's Carney. So, testing the soil. Interesting, very interesting. Thank you so much for helping me with this. You're welcome, Carney. That's it, thank you, Saga. You really are a good help. Yay! Well, that makes me happy. Seems like a hard-working man. All right, let's come over to Judy and inspect the water pipes. You found all the leaks? Fantastic! I can't begin to tell you how happy I am to have you here. Especially since apparently, like, their other people have just vanished. Oh, gosh. All right, and you know what? <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Hang on. And there we go. So I'm going to just gently run over here and look at these horses. And then I also have to take care of Melody Warrior because she is apparently very tired or very thirsty, which is interesting to me. All right. So these are some of the best horses in the area. Wow. I really like this one. So let's see. Let's see what series judge of horses is like. I really like this one. The Andalusians always attract me, it seems. I've seen that one before. I need to wait like two more weeks to be able to afford him, though. Oh, so we'll have to look over, but I like that look. That look is a very, very attractive look in color to me. And how, oh, here's the one that I'm in love with. Oh, where they have the, the colors. Really, 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 really strong horse, too. Oh, my gosh. But not very good on swiftness. Oh. We'll have to see. We'll have to see you guys. It's this kind of mane. Oh, I would want you so much. You're so pretty. Oh, but I have to be much higher level to be able to start getting these horses. So you know what, you guys? That's even more, even more encouragement to hurry up and start going up the levels. So that's for sure. And an Arabian thoroughbred. Wow. So I'm going to do some research on what the best horses to spend our star coins might be, at least for our very first one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.